Hey guys, today we're at Niemeyer's Trailer Sales in Albertville, Minnesota, and we're going to be checking out the Arctic Fox 990 truck camper. So we have Mitch here with us. He's going to be giving us a walkthrough, showing us all the features of this unit. So we'll start on the outside and head in, in a bit. Yeah, so this is uh, yeah an Arctic Fox uh, 990 truck camper. Um, this particular camper is for uh, trucks with an eight foot bed. Um, it weighs about 3,000 pounds, just dry without water and cargo in it. Um, so just going around the outside here, one nice feature we've got is this Fox landing step from the factory. That's an option. Um, so basically gives you a few extra steps as you're getting up into the camper. Gives you this nice mid step here so it's not such great big steps trying to get up into the camper. And that just flips up and stows while you're traveling so that's, that's a nice feature. Nice big grab handle for climbing up into the camper. Um, you do have a ladder that flips up and stores nicely like that. It is a full walk-on roof, so you can take the ladder up to the roof and do whatever maintenance you need to do, things like that. You can actually get quite a few people up there if you need multiple people up there for anything. This right here um, is a generator-ready compartment. So you can see right now there's not a generator in there, but it's got all the wiring and propane lines run for a generator. So that is an option from the factory or you can get it installed um, aftermarket. Um, the generator that would go in there is an Onan Cummins um, 2500 um, inverter generator. So yeah, all the wiring and everything is there so that saves you on installation costs and things like that. So. Otherwise, makes a nice big storage compartment for outside on the camper, so that's always nice too. Um, you do have a spot here to access the slide-out mechanism. So this particular truck camper does have a slide-out, um, and while we really don't have many issues with those, there is a way to do it manually if you ever, you know, your batteries were dead or things like that. So that's a nice thing for peace of mind. Um, down here, you've got an LP disconnect, so. If you have any sort of propane um, accessories like a grill or a flat top griddle or something for your camper, you can hook those up right there and it'll just use the propane from the rest of the camper from your, from your tanks. Um, coming around this side, you just got some storage in here under the slide out. This is going to be uh, underneath your dinette inside, so that's a nice, nice storage compartment outside. Um, all these Arctic Foxes are going to have the nice frameless windows. Um, as an option, you can get those with thermal pane windows, so they actually have two panes of glass. So even though they're frameless, they are thermal pane for colder weather. So we order all of our campers with those. Um, this camper is going to have the Ryko Titan jack system. So those actually have a wireless remote that you can use to raise and lower the camper, as well as control each jack individually. So if for any leveling or anything like that you need to do, you have a lot of control over that, which is nice. Um, nice big rubber bumpers on front, so when you're backing your truck under the camper, you're not marking up the front of your truck and you can actually back in without being afraid of hitting the camper or anything like that. Um, <clears throat> on the outside here, you've got your fresh water tank fill, so there's just a cap behind that door that you used to fill your fresh water tank. You got your nice uh, six gallon suburban water heater right here. So that'll operate off of propane or 110 volt electricity, whichever you have access to. Um, here you've got your battery compartment. So we've just got one battery in there now for purposes of moving the camper around, but you've got the nice tray that pulls out and it actually will fit two batteries. So. What type of batteries or how many it comes with is gonna depend on your dealer. We, we send all ours out with two uh, 31 group batteries, so a nice upgraded battery. So you have plenty of room for whatever type of battery you wanna put in there. And that just slides in and tucks away pretty nicely. Um, all the Arctic Fox truck campers are uh, cable and satellite ready. So you have connections already pre-run to the TV for cable or satellite or anything like that that you wanna have. Um, underneath the camper here, you've got a few things. Um, this that I've got my finger on here, that's going to be your uh, black tank flush system. So when you're emptying out your wastewater tanks, you can hook a hose to that and help clean out your uh, black water tank. Next to it, underneath the camper is going to be your city water connection. 
So if you're camping somewhere where you have a hose and can hook up, um, that's where you're going to do that. And then lastly, this plug right here is going to be an extra plug for a solar panel. Um, so all of the Arctic Fox truck campers do come standard with a 45 watt solar panel already mounted on the roof. There is extra room on the roof if you want to add additional solar up there. Otherwise you have that plug underneath the camper so that you can buy a portable panel that just sets out on the ground or wherever else and just plugs in right there and that'll help charge your batteries that way. So, got where you plug in the camper. This is just our shop cord. The camper is actually going to come with a nice heavy duty uh, 30 amp cord. Um, it's going to be 25 feet long. So, here you've got your propane tanks. So, the camper is going to come with two 30 pound propane tanks, and you are going to have an automatic changeover regulator. So basically, as long as both tanks are open, when one is empty, it's automatically going to switch to the other one without interrupting you know, any cooking or heating that you're trying to do in the camper. So Down here, you're going to have access to a few things. So you do have a light in this compartment. Um, you're going to have your sewer drains in here, um, as well as different water drains, things like that. Back in the corner here, you are going to have a battery disconnect switch, which is nice. Whenever you're not using the camper, you can flip that switch off so that your batteries aren't draining when, you know, when it's just sitting. Um, and even with that switch off, the solar panel is still going to keep charging your batteries, so that's kind of a nice feature there. Um, coming back around to the back, you do have this door swings open. You've got a pull-out tray in there for your sewer hose. Um, so there is storage for, you know, up to 20, 30 feet of sewer hose in there. Um, you have exterior power here, so you do have a 110 outlet out here. Um, power awning, the switch for that is going to be inside. That does have a nice LED light strip on it when the awning is extended. So that comes standard on the, the Arctic Fox truck campers. Um, and back around this way, like we already talked about this mid-step, this actually does pull off here to give you access to another storage compartment here, which has kind of a neat storage feature in there. So you lift that up, you actually have what they call a joey tray that's going to pull way out and give you some extra storage for maybe some longer items or whatever else you want to put in there. Okay, so yeah, now we're on the interior of the uh, 990 Arctic Fox. One feature we do have is a nice screen door. So have that open, let a nice breeze in. Um, when you first come in the camper, you're going to have a few things. Fire extinguisher here. Down on the side here, you are going to have the switch for your power awning. So you just hold that in or out and the awning will extend and retract. Then also down by my feet here, you're going to have the switch for your slide out. Um, this here is the remote for the Ryko Titan jacks. So like I said, you can control your jacks with that. There is also a way, instead of controlling your slide out here, you can do it off of the remote as well. And the remote will also run your power awning. Then the last thing down here, you've just got a dimmer switch for your entry light. So that's going to be kind of your first light as you come in the camper right there. Um, right away to my left is your wet bath. So the wet bath means that basically the shower and the toilet, everything is all in one area. Um, what's nice about this wet bath is that all, it is all a plastic surround. Um, there is a shower curtain that comes with the camper, it's just not in place right now. So you really don't have to worry about anything getting wet that you don't want to. So you got a nice medicine cabinet in there, nice skylight. So pretty nice bath in there. You got some extra storage down by my feet there. One thing Northwoods does a really good job of is putting storage pretty much wherever they can. If they have extra space, there's a drawer or a cabinet or something there. So to my right, you are going to have storage under the step right here. So again, for some of those longer items, that's a great spot to put those. Um, 
this camper has what Northwoods calls the dream dinette. <clears throat> so basically, instead of having you know your regular table legs or anything underneath that kind of get in the way when you're trying to sit, this just has a lever underneath that you unlatch, and then you just push the dinette down to make it into a bed. Um, so pull the cushions out, lay everything flat, and then that's how you make your bed there. Otherwise, you can just grab it, pull it back up, and then flip that latch back in place to lock it. Um, some nice storage over here. You do have actually a slide out spice rack. So you can get extra shelves for these. They come with three, but obviously you can see you can move them wherever you like, get extra ones. So that's a really nice feature there. <coughs> and then down below that, just some added shelves. You're going to have your Furion microwave. So if you're plugged into shore power you do have uh, a microwave there in the hood fan you got a fan here and then a light so that's that's pretty nice there you do have a three burner cooktop also some nice knife storage there so basically uh, this glass top is going to flip up you have your three burners there as well as your oven underneath and you have one sparker that will ignite all of those so that's really nice you know, you don't have to worry about having a separate lighter or anything. That'll ignite all of those. Um, as an option, you know, this camper does have the uh, oven, which is standard. But as an option, you can also remove the oven and just get some extra drawers and things under there. So up here, you've got kind of your main light switch. That's on a dimmer as well. So you can kind of dim the main area lights, which is nice. Extra storage here, you've got your nice big sink, nice and big for doing dishes and storage while you're driving, as well as some nice storage underneath with nice easy access to your water heater's bypass valve. So, um, you know, if you're in colder states like we are in Minnesota, it's nice that those are pretty easy to get to for winterizing the camper. Extra storage up top here. We're going to have a lot of stuff kind of over in this corner. You are going to have um, your touchscreen radio. So basically that's going to have AM and FM radio. Uh, it's going to have Bluetooth so you can hook up your phone or whatever other device you want and play music. Um, and it's going to be a CD and a DVD player as well. Uh, this camper does not have a TV in it. There, you can order them with TVs or always add your own. And the wires are already run from the radio, so you just have to plug it in, and then you can have a DVD player. Um, you're going to have your thermostat right here. So that'll control your furnace and your air conditioner um, all in one spot, which is nice. Over in the corner here, you're going to have your solar charge controller. So like we talked about outside, um, the camper is going to have a 45-watt solar panel standard from the factory. You can always order them with additional solar from the factory or add it after the fact. And basically what that charge controller is going to do is um, give you information. It's going to give you your battery voltage, charging current, and things like that. So you can kind of see where your batteries are at and what your solar is doing. So that's a nice feature. Um, and then right here you're going to have kind of your main control panel for the camper. So. On top here, you're going to have your water tank monitors. Um, so you just press and hold those, and you'll see uh, you know, how much water you have in the tanks. Um, off the top of my head, I'd have to look at the exact numbers. The, the freshwater tank uh, is going to be about 52 gallons, I believe. Um, the black is going to be 35, and the gray is somewhere around 40. So nice big tanks, especially for a pickup camper. Um, otherwise, on this panel, you've got the switch for your water pump. So if you're going to be using water from the fresh water tank, that's where that switch is. A couple of lights here. Your porch light is going to be out on the side of the camper. Cab over light, so that's kind of a main switch for up in your bed area. And then you've got your two switches for the water heater. Um, so like I said, you can operate that on propane or electricity, and you can control those both right there. Then the very last thing on the bottom is you do have a start and a stop switch for that optional generator. So like I said, it's already wired in. So if you do add the generator, you can start and stop it from right here inside the camper. 
Um, up in the bed area, you do have a, a queen bed. Storage all around. You've got all sorts of cabinets and different things for your clothes. You have USB charging as well as 110 volt outlets on both sides of the bed. Those USBs are 12 volt powered, so even if you're camping without shore power, those will still run off the batteries, which is really nice. Um, underneath that black cover there, that does unsnap, and you do have a um, power vent fan. So that's two, a two-way fan, so it'll blow air in or out. You've got a few different speed settings on there, and that comes standard with the camper and also runs off of the 12-volt batteries. So that's, very, that's a nice feature. Uh, yeah, storage in there. Up in the closet, you do actually have a countertop extension that's going to mount kind of right in this area. So you'll, you know, it comes out to about here, and you have some extra counter space for if you're working in the kitchen or things like that. Um, over on this side of the camper, you've got your Norcold refrigerator. So this is going to be a two way fridge. Um, it's going to run off of uh, propane gas and 110 volt electricity. There is an option from the factory, you can get these with a 12 volt option so that you can run them off the batteries as well. So, a um, few last things. Right here you can see this camper is prepped for a uh, WineGuard gateway router. So it already has a WineGuard TV antenna on the roof and basically what Northwoods does is they run all the wires right there for a WineGuard router. So you can add that, and what that'll do is if you're camping somewhere that has Wi-Fi, it'll basically help pull the signal in, and so you can connect your phone or other device to it and help get stronger signal um, from the Wi-Fi. It'll also have a spot where you can put a SIM card, so you can buy a SIM card from your cellular carrier, pop that in there, and then your camper will actually function as a 4G LTE hotspot. Um, so that's been a pretty popular feature, especially as people start going on longer trips and working out of their campers. That's, that's been pretty popular. So. so thank you guys for watching our video on the Arctic Fox 990. If you have any questions or comments, put them below. Otherwise, stay tuned for more videos and we'll have more walkthroughs coming up.